you know, it's very true actually. And I think what, just by watching elite athletes, what you see is they use different strategies. You know, a classic example is, is someone like Andy Murray who has this wonderful way of chastising himself when things aren't going well. And, and there are lots of commentators who talk about that as being a, a very negative approach. But actually for him, that's the way he builds a, a positive approach, by chastising himself, by drawing himself to a place where he can actually move forward, analyze what he's doing, and then move it forward. Because invariably, having disagreed with his approach, he then goes on to win a match. So it is about, it is about this sort of individualized approach. And, and I think that what you have to do as a sports psychologist is actually develop that with the individual. The biggest mistake that is made in sports science across the board, whether it's physiology, psych, biomechanics, is to try and squeeze athletes into this, this mold, this mold that we believe that they should be within. Actually, it's about an individualized approach, and that's really what a sport, good sports sport psychologist does, is it develops that individual strategy.